Hey. Hey. Has it stopped at all? Uh, let's hit the front pages call. in every state. Give a short message, and we'll get back Every to paper. Thanks. He knew it would, Hank. Yeah, but not like this. This is Len Riker. The attorney general. Give me a call as soon as you get this. At home, Hank. Good God. Well, baby, this is just the beginning. Whatever happens, I'm ready. Are you sure about that, Sheila? As long as I'm with you. We'll get through this, honey. You just hang on. Yes, I'm calling about the uh, funeral arrangements for my father, General Sloan Carpenter. Yes, he did. He did receive the Congressional Medal of Honor, and, and we want everything done protocol by the book. Good. Great. Great. Thank you. I appreciate that. You would, too. Yes, goodbye. Did everything you could. Arlington National Cemetery, full honors, like a president. Like a general. You and Vicky are good at details. Between the two of you, Sloan is going to have a beautiful funeral. Oh, I want it to be more than beautiful. I want it to be perfect. <laughs> It'll never be enough, though. Can't be. How could Vicky and I ever put together a funeral perfect enough for Sloan Carpenter? Coming. Get in the shower and you finally decide to show up. It is about to come. Hurry up. Come on. Get in. Well, hello, Mr. Vickers. You what? call? What is this, Halloween? Oh, I like your costume too, David. My card. Sam Vance Appliance Repairs. Very nice. Yeah, well, it helped me breeze in right past the front gate. After all, we wouldn't want Tina to see me. She went a little ballistic the last time. Yes, very resourceful. So, what's the emergency? Todd Manning, I need the rest of my answers, Sam. I'm working on it. Not fast enough. I was supposed to return that questionnaire to the trust fund executors yesterday. Hey, you'll get everything you need. Just relax. We'll fill in all your blank spaces. After you give me a little advance. You want a cash advance? For expenses, I've got a date with the answer man. You want to see what he's going to see? Just a simple display with a sympathy card. Mm-hmm. For Mrs. Sloan Carpenter. Yes. Regency Drive Land Fair. And put it on my account. Thank you. All alone at the Palace Hotel? Let me guess. Court finally wised up and dumped you, huh? <laughs> So very funny, Todd. What are you doing here? Sooner or later, Cord's gonna see your true colors. He'll dump you. Nobody changes that much, Blair. I mean, you can change the clothes, but you can't change the person on the inside. Yeah, I noticed. Nice suit. Is there an occasion? Could be. I've got a date. I finally made peace with my dad, didn't I? Oh, I keep thinking about how hard I tried to please him. All those years, the Citadel, West Point, always trying to make the grade. And when I chose the church over studying war, I was disappointed. Yeah, but he changed. He was proud of you. In the end, he was proud, but the arguing, oh, <laughs> the arguing and the fighting and the pushing away and about everything, Cassie, everything, the church and William. When William was dying of AIDS, what we did to each other and not seeing each other for years, years, wasted time. But he learned and you helped him. And Vicki helped him. Mm -hmm. When she came into his life, he reached out for the first time. That's when I found my dad. And that's when he found you. We found each other then. 
I'm thankful for that. So thankful. Just wasn't enough time. Company. Mm. I'm all right. Okay. I'll get them before they wake up River. That's a good question. What do you say you come help me find out? You're going to be a big brother soon, and you're going to need the practice. Okay? Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, hi. Andrew. He's gone. I felt it. I felt it when he passed over. Sloan had such a strong soul, goddess knows. Happy belated birthday. I made it. It's for that chain that you were wearing around your neck on that old... I threw it out. Key on the chain. But, Todd, I, I thought that that was from, well, Peter Manning. I thought that was your only connection to who your real parents were. I don't care who my real parents are. Look. Thanks for the chain. It's really nice. You're welcome. So, uh... I guess you need to go find your date, don't you? What, are you trying to get rid of me? Is Mr. Wonderful coming? No, Mr. Wonderful is not coming, but his kids are, and I really don't want you to be oh, here. Oh, come on. You'd score big points with CJ and Sarah if they think we're friends. Todd. Hey, look, Sarah, there's Todd. Hey, Todd. Hey, guys. Hey. Happy New Year. How you Happy doing? Happy New Year. See what I tell you. All right, kids, wait. They are not the problem. Look, Mommy is here. Come on, Mama, sit down. <laughs> no, honey, not here. Until your daddy gets here, we're definitely getting our own table. Here, mm. hold this. My shoes are in here somewhere. What is taking so long, Sam? There's still three questions left. I know. Did Todd's mother have a scar? What did Todd get on his fifth birthday? And what was Todd's father's nickname? Look, Sam, if you're not up to this, please just let me know, because there are plenty of people that I can hire that will line up for $100,000. <laughs> Keep your towel on. I'm on my way to the palace right now to meet Todd for brunch. That's why I need the advance. I asked him, so I get to pay the check. Meaning I get to pay the check, right? What, no pocket in that there yeah. towel? Why don't you try the wallet? Well, I'm a private eye. That's part of the job, Mr. Vickers, noticing things. Mm-hmm. Why don't you notice how anxious I am for these answers? Here. Forty bucks? That's all I've got, Sam, or didn't you notice that, too? Look, I'll get you more. You get me those answers today. You know, and it, it occurred to me that the last time he left, he left the house was to do battle. St. James. You should have seen him. You should have seen him go up against that best tree. Hey, everyone, guess what I did? I got to hold the baby. <laughs> River stopped crying as soon as Output picked him up. Well, that is a special talent. We're going to put that to use, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, I'll get it. <laughs> you know what? That's going to come in handy, taking care of that little baby we're going to have. You know that? <sighs> I got the magic touch. Kathy, darling, I had to come over. Thank you. Mm. So... Where is Andrew? I'd like to see him. Um, well, Mother, wouldn't you like to come back later? Why? Uh, well, he's, um, he's, he's, uh, he's... Cassie, your husband, my son-in-law, has just had a terrible loss. And there's something that I have to say to him, and it can't wait. Well, 
This article seems sympathetic. Yeah, well, I'll take all the sympathy I can get. It's not gonna stop, is it? Well, you know, I've got the perfect cure. Now, at least I won't end up eating soggy cereal. And at least we're both free of my brother. Are we? Well, he's in jail. For a while, at least. I know. Hang, I... I went to see RJ yesterday. Nora told me that he'd been arrested, and I... Well, Nora, she, she, uh, she put this hidden microphone on me. So what? That we, we, we were just... We were hoping that he'd admit to doctoring that security tape to make it look like you were there when that guard was shot. But he, he didn't fall for it. Baby, you could have been hurt. No, the guard was right there. I was safe. But I didn't get a confession. It's just one more time when I... I failed you, that's all. No, 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 come here, Kate. Hey, no way, no way. Oh, I wanted it to work so badly. I could taste it, Hank. What did my brother do to you? Come on, for God's sake, tell me, what did R.J. do to you? I should be out of here. What kind of games are you playing with my lawyer? We explained to your attorney that we're really swamped right now. We're backed up with arrests. But we promised that we would get to you just as soon as we possibly can. Yeah, well, how fast are you moving the book, old brother Hank, on that murder in 72? I'm not going to discuss Hank's case with you, R.J. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, how about something I can do for you? Where did you hide that? <laughs> this man was supposed to be hey, searched. Hey, never mind that. There's a safe in my suite at the hotel. Inside, there's a videotape. Now, you look at it. You'll have all the proof you need that Hank was at the scene of that murder. Uh, and there's something else you should check out. An old buddy of Hank's from his college days, Danny Keller. See, he's on that tape, too. Well, if I get some time, maybe I'll look him up. Try Joliet. Will he stand up in court and say that Hank was there? Let's just say he'll cooperate with the authorities, just like me. At least now, when Chicago calls, you won't be in the dark. You'll have the same lead they've got. Lucky me. Well, we wouldn't want you to look like a chump, covering up for a murder. Now, here's what you need. Go do your job. CJ, I told you. I don't think so. Why not, Tina? All right, Blair, because I don't want my kids around you. Or you, a second longer than they have to be. Honestly, Tina, that is so rude. Forget about it. I'm gonna leave you guys to this cafe, okay? My date's here. Goodbye, Todd. Bye. Bye, kids. I'll see you soon. Goodbye, Todd. Excuse me. Hey. Hi. Look, I was just checking out the menu, and, um... It looks like some of the food here might be too rich for me. Do you mind if we go somewhere else? I was thinking maybe the Waterside. You know the Waterside Inn, don't you? Yeah, sure, well, wherever you want to go. Great, thanks. Just, just follow me. Great. Cord left on a flight this morning. What? Yes, he... We left a message on your machine. He just left earlier than he expected. Dad's uh, not coming? Nope. That's great. That, that's just great. You know, Cord changes plans, he flies off and leaves me to handle everything. And my sister's husband just died. Yes, I, I read about Sloane's death. My sympathy to you all. But, Mom, what about ice skating? Yeah. Oh, and Cord promised to take them both ice skating. No, 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 Tina. We promised. We promised to take them ice skating. Why can't we still go, then? The three of us. CJ, that's what I was thinking. You, Sarah, and me. What do you say? What? Yeah. No, 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 no. no. No, you're definitely not taking my two children anywhere. Tina, listen, I forget about it. It's not gonna happen. Blair, you're not taking my kids ice skating. Not without court. 
No, come on, Mom. No, Let you know, us, please. Your come father on. told me he wasn't taking this business trip until late this afternoon. This is so typical. No, no, Tina, that's not the way it happened. There's only one nonstop flight out of Landview, and it, it was this morning, so we got on that one to Portland. Where? You mean Portland, Maine? No, Portland, Oregon. Why? Nothing. Uh, it's no reason. I just, I, I didn't know Cord had business connections in Portland, Oregon. But, Mom, what about ice skating? Uh, yeah, well, you know what? I, I guess there wouldn't be any harm in letting you two go with Claire. And, and I'll tell you what, um, as long as you can have them back to Landfair no later than 6, I just have an errand to take care of. All right? Can you handle that? I, I, Tina, yes, I'll do Yay! my best. Yay, we're going! I'll tell you what, you guys, let me just pay my check here. And, um, you guys get your coats on, get your skates, and we'll be ready to go, okay? We have our skates. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, Mom. All right, go get your coats on. Skating time, Sierra. Come on. Yay! David, it's Tina. Stay right there. Don't move a muscle on my way over, okay? And David, it's not good news. Mother, I know that you mean well, but... Cassie, please let me see him. I know what he must be going through. Okay, I know you do, but still, listen to me. Sometimes you make people very upset. I, I, I know you don't mean to, and, and I understand that, but think about it. Yesterday, you came by Landfair, and I, it, I know it wasn't your intention to, but you disturbed Vicky very much with your being there. Vicky, Vicky was disturbed before I got there, so that certainly was not my fault. Darling, please. Uh, I don't want to upset anybody. Now, look, I tried to explain this to you at the country club, remember? I I know that this has taken me a very long time, but I now understand how much you love Andrew, all right? I'm not going to try and fight it anymore. That's all in the past. Now, please, I want Andrew to know that. Family is everything. Whoa, uh, no, Andrew, it's okay, sit. Uh, Cassie's right here. She'll let us out. Yeah, Andrew, you just, you take it easy. We'll be fine. Hi, Morning. Al. Max, Luna. Joey. Cassie, I, uh... It's all right, Max, thanks. You don't have to say anything more. Tim, you need anything, you just, you call me. I will, you know that. Thanks for letting me hold the baby. Oh, you are welcome. Now, button up, it's cold up there. Come on. Okay? Get that coat on. Bye, thank you. Talk Bye. to you soon. Max, before... Andrew. What is it, Dorian? What do you want? Andrew, I want to tell you how sorry I am for your loss. Thank you. I also would like to say a few other things to you. Perhaps it could wait till after the funeral. Would that be all right? Andrew, please. Mother, mother, come on. Andrew said maybe after the funeral. But... You know what? It's fine. Your mother came here to say something. Obviously, you can't wait. Thank you, Andrew. Now, sweetheart, would you please leave us alone for just a few minutes, please? It, it, it's fine. It's okay. I will be up with River <clears throat> if you need me. <sighs> Andrew, I know I have my faults. But then again, you wouldn't have been my first choice for a son-in-law either. I hope you don't mind my being frank. No, no, no. Go right ahead. However, in recent weeks, I have <clears throat> observed something which I can no longer ignore. My daughter loves you. She loves you so deeply that she remains, despite everything, committed to you and to healing your marriage. What is it that you're trying to say, Dorian? You and Cassie. I accept it, Andrew. You see, recently I've come to experience what it's like when people do not accept who you are or the people that you choose to love. It's a hard lesson. Yes, it is. You're my daughter's husband. Therefore, you are my family. So, Andrew, I want you to know 
that you can count on me from now on for anything. Sounds like you're proposing a truce. I'm willing if you are. I am willing. So, had a good time at the movies? Where'd you get that videotape, RJ? Huh? I want you to know we're gonna send that thing out and have it analyzed. By professionals? Oh, I didn't think you would. That's been doctored. In any way at all, we're gonna know about it. Oh, I'm scared. So, has anyone called from Chicago yet? Hmm? Because when they do, you're gonna have to arrest your XDA. Don't you worry your pretty little head about me. Otherwise, you're gonna be part of the cover-up. I mean, just another cop who's willing to bend the law when he's in the mood. All right. So is that what you are, Mr. Commissioner? But does the law mean something to you? Now, Nora, there's someone who loves the law. I want to tell you something, Big Mouth. Nora has nothing to do with this or with you. I don't want to hear you mention her name. Answer that. Yes, Hank, I do. You need to know. I think part of the reason you and I are where we are right now is because we held back. We went off on our own, both of us just trying to be heroes. Uh, R.J. showed me the videotape of the night when that guard was killed. I stole it. <sighs> but it was a copy. He had a bunch of them. He baited you, baby. You let him know what you were willing to do. Yeah. And he let me know what he was willing to do. He, uh, he started to push. And he kept sending me flowers and calling me out of the house at night, and I had to go meet him. To try and protect me? Well, he was trying to make it look like I was having an affair. He wanted you to think... He wanted you, didn't he, Sheila? Did my brother try anything? Did he force you to sleep with him? Any excuse for champagne, even with orange juice. Can I ask you a question? How personal? How long and how hard did you have to think before you asked me out? You're an interesting man, Mr. Manning. And I'm a woman who knows how to take care of herself. Besides, I don't like eating alone. Oh, I'm not crazy about it either, but you get used to it. Well, then I guess this works out for both of us. Now, can I ask you a question? Personal? I'm not gonna hurt you. How'd you get it? I'm, um... not in the mood, all right? <clears throat> okay. Maybe some other time. Sure. You know, my mom had a scar. It was, um, it was right here, a little one. And it always made me sad whenever I looked at it. I always wondered what she looked like. I mean, really looked like. My mom had a scar, too. Yeah? She had a tracheotomy. Really? And she had diphtheria when she was a kid. <laughs> and she used to, um, used to rub it when she was thinking, when she was watching TV. She didn't know, but I would, I would sit there and I'd watch your hand kind of creep up. It's like a reflex. What was that for? Your story made me sad. You look sad. I'm not really that sad now at all. 
Why don't you hit the ice, Tiger? Okay. Let's go. Oh, well, I guess we better get our skates on. <laughs> so, are you ready, Sarah? Ooh, CJ just fell down, see? Yeah, but look, he just got right back up. Now, you're not afraid of falling, are you, Sarah? Tell you what, me too. But even the best skaters are scared sometimes. But I know the best trick for that. Do you do, Well, whenever you're out on the ice, you never look at your feet. You keep your head up and think how pretty that you are. You won't ever fall honest. if you keep your head up high. Honest? Honest. And even if you do, Sarah, it won't hurt nearly as much as you think that it will because the secret of being brave is to let, never let anyone know that you're scared in the first place. So, are you ready to go? Okay. Go. Oh, you better hold Blair. <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own two eyes. Yeah, what's that? I didn't think Blair had any maternal instinct at all. <clears throat> Yeah? Life is full of surprises. You know what? What? Sometimes you're right. Sometimes. Does that mean I don't have to go skating then? Cord's gone to Portland to ask about you, David. If he gets back and he tells Vicky, everything is going to come crashing down, and then it's going to be a big mess. Tina, it's... hold on, OK? I've got everything taken care of. It's covered. How? Trust me. Look, go back up to Landfair. I'll come up there as soon as I take care of a thing or two. Yeah, like what? Trust, Trust me. me. Yeah, while you're here taking care of a thing or two, Cord is in Oregon finding out everything about you and your real parents, David. It's not going to be long before he puts the pieces together. That Irene Clayton lived only a few blocks away from John and Marie Vickers. And once he finds out that John Vickers sold Irene life insurance, then it's all going to be over. Tina, for the last but... time, relax. I have got everything taken care of. Well, tell me. What is it? See... What's the plan? What? Mm. Mm. Don't worry, all right? Now, your job is to make sure that Vicky doesn't suspect anything, and you can do your job by not hanging around here with me, all right? Okay. Okay. Okay, then. I, uh, I'll go back to the house. I'm sure Vicky needs me. She's so upset. All right. Give her my support, okay? I'll be up there in just a minute. Will you hurry? Mm -hmm. Please? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you. Bye. Great. Oh, come on, Sam. Pick up. Pick it up. Hello? You reached the office of Sam Vance. Oh, man, why didn't you put it on call forwarding? Please leave a message, and I'll call you back. <sighs> Look, Sam, it's David. Call me as soon as you get this. We have got a real problem. I want another one. Easy there. <laughs> I start to think you got a problem. Well, I do. Who doesn't? But enjoying myself shouldn't be one of them. All right, I give up. You tell me, whose turn is it? All right, it's mine. See, most embarrassing moment. No, 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 make that most embarrassing secret. How's that? I don't get it. Give me an example. Okay, like, um, how about nicknames? When I was a kid, my dad used to call me, you ready for this? Muffin. Muffin? Mm. That's not so embarrassing. Yeah, well, why don't I try calling you Muffin for a while and see if you like it? I mean, did you ever have a nickname? I mean, even my dad had a nickname. They used to call him Rusty because of his red hair. Rusty? Yeah. You've got to be kidding. No? Rusty. Yeah, it sounds like a name from one of those sitcoms. Rusty. Everybody had a name like that. Muffin. Buzz. Who's Buzz? 
few of my dad's friends, they used to call him Buzz. Yeah. You know, I think it was short for Buzz Off, you jerk. <laughs> hey, two more. Right? Uh, mimosas. Yeah, mimosas, what Muffy said. Okay, so, um, 70 sitcoms. <laughs> uh, did you ever watch The Brady Bunch? No. Oh, come on, what'd you watch? 18. Mr. T was my man. Oh, well, you don't know what you missed. The Brady Bunch, they knew how to party. You know, I, I even remember what Cindy got for her fifth birthday. It was this... Oh, wait a minute, I think that was Marsha. Um, oh, what did Cindy get? Listen, I can't think of it right now. Uh, you keep talking. Did you ever have a favorite birthday? Fifth, maybe? No, 12. Yeah? Yeah, Super Bowl tickets. My dad took me. Uh-huh. I never much cared for football. Baseball was my game. You know, I remember what I got for my fifth birthday. I got this brush set, silver. I mean, it was silver plate, but I, I, I just loved it. What'd you get for your fifth birthday? I mean, I remember what Cindy got. She Who got cares what that Brady twit got for her fifth birthday? Why, why, why are we talking about any of this? Oh, you know. First date, just getting to know each other. Yeah, well, why don't we talk about who we are now, then? I'm not five. I'm not even 12. I know. Why don't you just stop asking me questions about what I was like when I was a kid? What? You are a reporter, aren't you? Oh, come on. We're not going to do this again. I told you I'm not a reporter. Hey, look, I'm really sorry if I'm boring you here. I... Oh, no, you, you... Look, you're not boring me. I mean, I haven't yawned once, right? Matter of fact, I'm the one who's been talking for a while. We have been talking for a while, that's true. Maybe too long. Too long? Yeah. You know what they say. Get out while the guy's still awake. I, I, I didn't... You know, it's okay. I gotta go anyway. But, um... Hey, maybe we could do this again sometime. I mean, if you're in the mood, I could give you a call. That's up to you. Then I will. I had a good time, Todd. Yeah? Yeah. I'll see you later. It's over, Hank. None of it matters. It does matter, baby. It matters to me. Now, come on, no more secrets. Now, I thought we agreed on that. Did my brother try to... He tried, okay? He pressured me. And? And did you sleep with him? And I would have done anything I had to do if it meant that I would stop him from destroying you. But I didn't sleep with him. Thank God. Yeah, I promise you, baby. I give you my word. He, he won't get to you again, ever. No more mind games. The only thing that's left to ask... Well, what about us now? Is the wedding off? I mean, hey, I wouldn't blame you. Baby, you went through hell for me. And I'm, I'm resigning, and I could go to jail. You should have your out, too. I won't hold you. What if I want you to? Last chance. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm staying around here. <laughs> no. So we might as well get married as soon as we can because I'm with you for better or for worse. You're taking a rain check, huh? On the better part? <laughs> we'll get to it. You sure about that? With all my heart. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, once I stop answering the phone. Well. Here we go. Cameras, newspapers. Okay. Look, you make yourself scarce. I'll get that, um, because otherwise that'll never stop. All right. Okay. Uh, who is it? It's Bo Buchanan. Bo? 
All right. Sorry to disturb you, Sheila. Oh, no, it's no bother. Please. Um, I'm sorry I heard about Sloan. Yeah, right. Uh, it's been rough on Vicky. I came to talk to Hank. Here I am, Bo. I got a call from Chicago. The DA there has some questions for you. Yeah? And they want me to fly down there, right? As soon as you can. I told them I'd be your escort. Well, I want to call my lawyer first. You want Nora along? With these kind of questions? You bet. Best lawyer I know. Wonder what he makes of all this. Aren't you all set for tomorrow? Yes. It'll be uh, Vicky and her family. I called Beverly. She's arranged with neighbors and friends. And then there's... Uh, it's us. It's just me now. Head of the family. Oldest living carpenter. He loved you very much, Andrew. He loved all of us. I'm going to miss him, too. I just hope that... a long time from now, you know, years and years, when River has to say goodbye to me. I hope that he is as proud of me as I was, I was proud of my dad. Oh, Sarah, you looked wonderful out there on the ice today. Yeah, she sure did. I thought so, too. It didn't hurt when I felt I know the secret. <laughs> you know a secret. Would you share it with me? Because I think I need to know. While we get some hot chocolate, would you like that? I tell you what, that's great. I, you get some hot chocolate and I'll be right here when you get back, okay? All right, come on, honey. Take Luna's hand. Luna. Well, honey, can we bring that thing for Blair, too? Yeah, we, we'll, we'll, we, we can bring one back for Blair. Like I told you before, Blair's a witch. My dad hates her. Really? My dad likes her. She's been really nice to me and Sarah. She's nice at first, but underneath, she's really mean. She's not like that, Al. Blair's just... DJ. Sorry, I didn't know you were there. CJ, it's all right. Hey, you stood up for me. Thank you. You know who you remind me of? Who? Your daddy. You make up your own mind, and that's good. That takes courage. Really? Sure. And I want to make you a promise that I won't disappoint you, CJ, or Sarah, or your dad. You have my word. I'll really try. I got two more answers. That makes three out of four. It's not enough. Three is not enough, Sam. <sighs> Stop complaining. Tomorrow's another day. Yes, it is. It's one day too late. Sam, I got people coming up behind me. I've got to work fast. That means you've got to work even faster. I want you to go back out, find Todd. Look, if I start pumping Manning now, we could blow the whole thing. Patience, it just takes a little bit of time. We don't have time. If Todd starts getting suspicious, if he even gets a hint that... Look, if you don't go back out and get that answer today, there's not going to be any money. Nothing. Now, is that clear enough for you, Sam? Sam Vance. Direct sales. What's going on here, Sam? Did you give me a big sales job or what? What are you after? <laughs> 